I'm Taylor Lewan, and this is my draft story. Now watch the uh, blocking here of Taylor Lewan, 77. Lewan does a nice job of pushing out the defense. Kind of set the scene for us. We, I mean, you played at a, a D1 major school. You, and maybe you knew this in high school, but when did the playing in the NFL and like getting drafted kind of first come into your brain to think like this could be like a real thing? I played nose tackle my first three years in high school and I was, um, I was got off the films out there for anybody that wants to see it. It was, it was horrible. I had zero offers. So I thought, hey, the boy's going to be doing some manual labor. I'm going to be hitting some, some construction someday. The, the, this is what it is. We'll have some fun, play some high school ball. And Utah State, the Aggies, you never forget your first. This guy comes up to me and he's like, hey, like, you know, you're, you're quite the athlete, blah, blah, blah. We'd, you know, we'd love to have you, but I'm sure we won't get you. And I was like, oh, man, thanks. I appreciate that. Very cool of you to say. Didn't think anything of it other than how that was a cool compliment from a, from a scout from a college or whatever they were called, whatever their official title is. And my, my uh, head coach came up to me, Charlie Ragel, who is the huge reason why I'm in this position. He's like, well, what do you think? You know, like, what are you talking about? He goes, Utah State just offered you a scholarship to go play football for them. And I started losing my mind. Like that, like, first off, horrible way to do it. You should just say it out loud so you don't make assumptions. But like, I was like, absolutely like super, like, I looked at him. I started freaking, I go, I go, Charlie, I said, Charlie, I go, Charlie, I'm going to the NFL. And he goes, what do you, what do you, like, there's so much more to do. I was like, no, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm going to the NFL. That was just unbelievable. This is the coolest experience ever. I end up going to Michigan and I get there for my first day and they're like figuring out classes and all that. They're like, so what do you want to do? And I was like, well, I'm going to the NFL. So I, I, I like, honestly, like whatever you guys want, I don't really, I don't care. Like I I'm going to the NFL and they're like, well, statistically, you know how everything works. It's like this and that, and you know, you should really have a plan B. I remember looking at the lady and go, why would I have a plan B if I was going to put everything in the plan A? Fast forwarding then to like the draft. What do you remember about that? Who was around you? Kind of set the scene for maybe that lead up to that week uh, and, and that, that night of. Getting the invite to the draft was like the coolest thing ever. The week is unbelievable. Like you go from being this college kid, we're walking the red carpet and in my head, I'm like, this is it, Taylor. Dude, you've officially become a star. Like you have done it. And like having no idea, like there's so much more to be done. Like, like when you hit the red carpet and people are like, know your name and you're like looking around and like people are like, like taking pictures of you. And you're like, yeah, over here, over here. And you're like, yeah, 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 for sure. And then, like, it's this ultimate chaos, like, two, like, two seconds. It feels like, it feels like two seconds is probably, like, 30. You know, all this excitement, and then you go and sit down. So, like, when the, when the pick happened, what do you remember about that phone call? No one wants to be second place. No one wants to be third place. And um, when the draft started, I pulled out a napkin. And on that napkin, I found a Sharpie. And I wrote down every single pick um, before me. And it started with Jadavian Clowney and so on and so forth. And then Greg Robinson was the first tackle to get off the board by the Rams. So you're kind of like, now you're like looking around like, hey, what pick are you? are like, leaning your age and like, what pick are they on? I get on the phone and Ken Wizen Hunt and everybody's on there. And it's, it was like, I am such a competitive person. There's such a like, was like, a, I'll show them. Like the, the, the Titans are going to know like how good of a pick they just made.